<laughs> Do you want to go for a walk? Yes? Do you, want, do you want to go for our morning walk? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Sit. Oh, we're going. Good morning from Gold Coast, Australia. Um, so today I'm going to be taking you guys through basically my whole entire day, what I eat, my nutrition, um, my supplements, my vitamins, and a little bit of insight on my training, and pretty much just everything prep related. Um, and right now, so I just woke up, had a big glass of water, and now I'm just off on my morning walk, which is AK getting pulled by my dog. Um, and yeah, and then so, when I first thing I do when I wake up is usually say good morning to my fiance and my puppy and give them lots of love and cuddles. Second thing I do is drink a big glass of warm water to get my digestion, digestive system ready for the day. And then I usually get ready and I go for my fasted walk in the morning, which if you guys don't know, it means you don't eat before your cardio. Um, and usually we go on a 45 minute walk along the beach. Today I'm in a long sleeve because it's so hot and every time I go for a walk in the morning I'm usually getting burnt. So it's actually, I'm actually going to be sweating a lot because I wish I could be in a tank top but then I burn. The heat here, it's getting into summer right now so it's like in the high 30s almost every day already by like 7am which is what it is right now. And yeah, so 45 minutes walk, and then I'll show you what I do right after I get home from my fasted cardio. And I'll show you the view, oh my god, I love where I live, I'm gonna miss it, but family is so important to me. So this is where we walk every morning. It's a two minute walk away from our house. It's so pretty. hot when we're just about to cross the road and she decides now she's done come on let's go quick hurry up come on <laughs> dead come on baby let's go come on so that walk was long, sweaty, and very, very hot. As you could see, Rory was dying. I literally can't, we can't go out for more than 40 to 45 minutes in the morning because it just gets way too hot. Even like at 4 a.m. it's still way too hot to walk and the sun's already up. So I can't wake up at 3. So um, we usually do, yeah, 40 to 45 minutes in the morning depending on her, how much she can take. Um, and then I usually take her at night once the sun's down, which is usually 8 p.m. So then we go on another walk. Sometimes it's short, sometimes it's long. Depends what I've done for cardio during the day. Um, I do just want to say I have been actually wearing my Fitbit again. I love it for prep because prep is all about being consistent. So being consistent with your nutrition, being new, um, consistent with training, supplements, vitamins, sleep, just all of that. So I personally think it's really important to then be consistent with your activity levels. So for instance, on days off, I usually like to take my days off to use that to refresh, re-energize my batteries, um, and just kind of, yeah, relax and have a day off, take a break from work, take a break from everything and just be in tune with myself and get refreshed for the next day or the week next week. So. On my days off, I tend to do a little bit less walking and things because I'm not at my job where I'm walking around 24-7. So I like to wear my Fitbit so that even on my days off, I'm still 
know how much activity levels I've done. So for instance, usually on my day I was off, I'll only hit like 10,000 steps by the afternoon, whereas if I was at work, I'd already almost be at like 15 by like 5 p.m. Um, so on my days off, then when I notice I'm only at 10,000 steps, then maybe I'll go for a longer walk at night, or um, maybe I'll just add in a little bit of cardio at the gym or something to just keep my um, activity level consistent, and I just find that super, super helpful in prep. So when I get back from my walk, because it's so hot, I'm usually dying and I usually have to do t nothing for 10 minutes just to cool down. I also have a big glass of cold water with some ice and then what I do is I cut half of a lemon and I squeeze it in there and usually I'll just drop it in. Whoops, bit full today. Left the sticker on. YOLO. So water with lemon is really good in the morning. It helps alkalize the body, helps with your digestive system, helps to clear up your skin. Now I'm gonna show you what I do every single morning. It's called my morning concoction. There's a whole bunch of shit in it, but it's so good for, well, you'll see, I'll explain it next. So I'm gonna relax for like another 10 minutes, drink this, and then I'll show you my morning concoction, and then I'll show you my breakfast, and then I'll show you what we're doing next. Guys, if I could give you one fitness tip that would move your progress forward so much and make you feel so better just by taking a couple minutes and investing a little bit of money into yourself, this would be the tip, okay? This next little bit is, is gonna help you with your energy. It's gonna help clear your skin. It helps with your immunity system and it helps with bloating. It helps with your digestive system to keep you regular all the time. Um, and it just helps with everything overall, your gut health. And it's just my number one tip to you guys. Like I really can't express how important these next things that I take in the morning are for you. And I'm not sponsored by any of these brands or anything. I use like 10 different brands right now. So I'm not sponsored by any of them. It's taken me about a couple of years to figure out a good morning concoction that actually works so now I just want to share it and help you guys so I grab a little bit of water I have this in my neutral bullet cup because I like to blend it because no one wants to drink um fucking nasty ass clumpy shit first off I grab some fiber I use Arbon. I love their products I use their products I sell their products I don't push their products though all right so fiber one scoop the fiber is going to help with just your digestion so helping your body break down those foods a little bit um, and keep things going regular in the bathroom okay next up is greens powder so greens are really really good for someone who hates vegetables which is me i hate vegetables so for me if i hate vegetables i'm not going to be getting all those micronutrients that are super important so i find this is where really helps with my skin and keeping just my hormones and everything balanced as well like it's really essential so next up in there is greens next is glutamine so glutamine is really really good for your gut health as well but it's i use it for mainly the benefits of helping with muscle recovery so you really don't need much like the scoop's really small so i grab that put that in the cup so glutamine is next then you can use a fat burner or something like that um you know i probably wouldn't suggest it starting right away i would probably just say clean up your diet and things like that first then when you hit a plateau try it i haven't hit a plateau but i feel like i'm going to i haven't used a fat burner in the last 10 weeks so now i'm going to so i just have like a berry blast and it has like green tea extract and things like that that are supposed to help speed up your metabolism so I'm just popping that in. I'm not sharing the brands that I use because I haven't really found ones that I'm 100% love. So just kind of trial and error on your own until I can give you some better advice with that. Next up is apple cider vinegar. This tastes fucking disgusting, but it's the best thing for your gut, honestly. It just... I just I can't even explain all the health benefits. It also helps lower your cholesterol and things like that. So essential, like you have to take a shot of apple cider vinegar. If you can take shots of tequila on the weekend, you can fucking deal with this. I know it's gross. All this shit's gross, I'll be honest. It doesn't taste good. But I usually do 15, about a tablespoon. That's probably way too much. Oh well. 
just gonna be better for myself then I usually blend this or I invest it in a frother which actually works great so I just blend that sheet up and drink it and that's my morning concoction so fiber greens glutamine a fat burner if you want I mean it's not essential that's not really a part of it it's not really gonna do magical changes to your body but then I do take a digestive enzyme which really helps if you take it before you even eat any food helps break down the foods that you're eating then next I take a probiotic this helps I'm kind of doing like a body cleanse right now for myself for like a month with the new year um, so I probably am not gonna take both of them 24 7 but I am gonna do it for this whole month um, so basically the probiotic it's just on the back it says assisting with relief of constipation supporting normal regular bowel movements which i need help with reporting normal bowel health um, and assisting in maintaining a healthy gut microflora so this is really essential we need good bacteria in our stomach and anytime you go on antibiotics it ruins that so if you're on go on antibiotics you need to be rebuilding up that good gut bacteria and this is what i would suggest by taking after so this is what I have every single morning before I eat or do anything. So I go on my fasted walk, have my lemon water that helps alkalize my body, have this, gets my body ready to burn my food and break it down and helps with my skin and everything. And then I'll have my meal one, which I'll show All you right. next. Meal number one of the day. Just gonna grab some spray, spray the pan so shit don't stick just a little quick spray then bag of fresh spinach grab it a massive handful and flop it in okay. and another one and another one so lots of spinach that's probably about like three cups I'd say then I never weigh my vegetables. I have 300 grams of egg whites and that's my first meal. And I am very consistent on prep, so it's 300 exactly. And once that spinach is all nice and cooked and small, I will pour in the all egg. Right, guys, it's probably been about two hours since breakfast. I'm getting hungry and I'm gonna go train. So I'm just gonna have my pre-workout meal, which is supposed to be two thick rice cakes and um, peanut butter and a banana. I personally like to have thin rice cakes because it feels like I ha I'm eating more and it takes me longer to eat. So I do it that way. So two thick rice cakes is equal to 15 grams of carbs. So I just grabbed this in my fitness pal. I typed in per gram how many um, grams I would need to hit 15 grams grams of carbs it said 19 grams of rice cakes so I weighed out 19 grams of rice cakes then I weighed out 16 grams of peanut butter spread that on my rice cakes then I added a little bit of maple syrup it's sugar free and spread that on it then I'm gonna eat my medium banana and then I'm gonna train and I'm hitting legs with one of my fave girls that I just met so I'll post a little bit of that so I just got to the gym. I'm going to take pre-workout today because it's leg day and I have been in the sun quite a bit today so I just feel like kind of drained. Um, so I have been using Body Logics iced tea. I actually do recommend the brand. I literally paid I think $15 for I think it has 30 servings so 50 cents each which is really cheap usually you're paying a dollar or more for a pre-workout per serving. Um, and it just gives me really good mental um, focus for the gym. It gets um, promotes endurance, which I definitely can stand behind, and increases energy, which also I can stand behind. It does have caffeine in it, so I wouldn't recommend taking it for you know your night workouts. But it's midday here, so it's perfect for right now. Um, I don't always take it because I don't want my body to build up a high tolerance for caffeine. So I only probably take pre-workout once or twice per week obviously some days some weeks it's a bit more and some weeks it's not at all it's only when i absolutely feel like i need it um but yeah and then during my workouts i have bcas in my gym bag so i just put my pre-workout in there I'm gonna shake that up 
walk on the Stairmaster for about 10 minutes, let this kick in, then start my leg day. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna just sip on amino acids while I'm doing my workout. And for amino acids, I really like the brand called Extend, and I really like the brand called All Max. Right now, I'm using All Max. Um, I still have some left from when I went home to Canada, but it's not anywhere in Australia, so you can't order them here, but you can order Extend here, and I really like that brand. So that's usually the two that I use for BCAs. And yeah, let's go kill a workout. <laughs> Just got home from the gym. I had a really fucking amazing workout. I got 10 reps for 350 and no, I'm not on steroids. So I'm super fucking pumped that I can fucking lift this heavy when I'm on like a thousand calories with saying that I did have a high carb day yesterday um, and I didn't even train yesterday. So I had lots of energy and drive and push today. But I did end up hurting myself. <laughs> I fell, I forgot to put the clips on when I was warming up and the weights fell off and I fell and I slammed my arm. Most people would have let that stop them but not, just fucking kept going and I'm so glad I did because yeah, I hit the biggest PB of my life. So, cannot wait to see what I can do for like one rep in the future. Last week I got I think 320 for 7 reps and I was happy and now this next week I've got 350 for 10. The fuck? And I'm fucking in the middle of contest prep. Like, this, this shit shouldn't happen. But I did realize that um, I this video is going to be really, really long already because um, I'm going in depth with my nutrition and stuff. So I thought I would just focus on my nutrition and my vitamins and supplements this vlog. And then the next one I will put in, like, all my training and stuff. So I'll do one day leg day. I train six days a week, so you'll have six different workouts from me that I love to do. Um, so I'll just show you, I'll just whip it up now when I'm having post-workout. Not gonna like go in depth with it. It's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get that ready because I'm fucking hungry after leg day. And then I'll show you what it is. All right guys, just finished the gym like I said. So this is my favorite meal. It's 125 grams of any kind of berries. I love strawberries right now. And then I have a shake. In my shake, I like to make it like an ice cream, so nice and thick. So in here, I just have one scoop of whey, lots of ice, and just a little bit of water. And then I also add just like some coffee in there as well. So instant coffee, and it makes like a iced coffee colada. It's the fucking best thing in the world. It's also really good if you add coffee to and you have um, um, chocolate favorite flavored protein, and then it tastes like a iced mocha. Oh, fire. But this one's just vanilla with some iced coffee. This is my favorite meal. I have three meals to go, and it's about three o'clock, so yeah, I kind of eat almost every three hours around there. Um, I'm just gonna do some client work for the next little while, and then I'm going to take my little pup to the beach for a swim, and then I gotta come home, clean the house, and take pictures of everything because we're selling everything we own because we're moving to Canada again soon. <laughs> All right, guys. We got back from the beach a little while ago. I started not feeling good. I think I'm getting my period. Too much information. Sorry. I'm just having my next meal. I think this is meal number four today. So it's just 130 grams of chicken breast spinach and rocket if you haven't tried rocket it's really good it has like a nutty taste it's really nice to add into your salad and then i have cucumber and i also seasoned my chicken breast with this ranch um seasoning that christian's mom got us she actually got us like a whole pack for christmas um they're really expensive i think but they're so worth it um so it was such a thoughtful gift this is what it looks like. It's by the brand called Mingle. This is ranch, and then I just add some salt on with it as well, but you don't need much else after you do that. And then I have some Walden's Farm dressing, salad dressing on here. I believe it's the balsamic. Um, and yeah, I have, it's around five-ish right now, so I'm going to eat this, relax a little bit, ice my elbow, because it's actually hurting really bad. Um, finish up two client plans then I'm going to mix my one meal which is just a shake so it's not really a meal um, and my last meal together so some days I have it separate some days I put it together so some days I have six meals I don't really count a shake as a meal but um, it's considered one of my meals so some days I have it separate and some days I have it together if 
you know, I wake up later, like today was my day off, so I tend to sleep in a little bit, so it's harder for me to get my meals in um, with less time. So yeah, I'm just gonna probably mix my last meal together, last two meals together, and then I'm done for the night, and then I'm gonna go for a mini walk, and I will show you my vitamins that I take at night. I am legit gonna pass out, so I'm having my last meal right now, and I'm just gonna show you my vitamins. So I take fish oils, I take multivitamin and minerals. Can't even see. There you go. I take, sorry, Christian's and mine's is mixed together. So I take a B12. Um, I take a calcium pill and it has vitamin D in it as well. Where is it? I take glucosamine for joints. I take vitamin D. This also has calcium and vitamin D. Not vitamin D. Um, what is that new one I got today? I take vitamin C, but I don't know where I put it. <laughs> um, and I take, I just found this one today, so I'm super excited. Um, an Iron Plus, because I have not been eating red meat in a while. Um, and it's just really good for females to take iron, especially on your period, especially if you're not eating any foods that have iron. This helps replenish that. Um, and this one says gentle on stomach and no constipation. Sometimes with iron, you can get constipation. So just be careful, make sure you find one that says something along those lines. That's what I take for vitamins. Now I'll show you my last meal. And then that's it guys, that's it, that's all folks. Ooh, just gonna cook it 10 seconds longer. So, I have my protein waffle. It is one egg, 100 grams of egg whites, and then I'm going to top it off with some cinnamon and some sugar-free maple syrup. That's all my meals, folks. That's my vitamins. That's everything I put into my body. And I also try to drink a minimum of four liters of water today to, to flush everything out. Um, and that will help with to clear your skin as well, help you feel energized. Um, and it's just really good for your body overall. So I, if you're not drinking at least three liters of water a day, I would definitely up that intake. See you in the next vlog.